Hi uh, welcome to the first Flicking Feathers vlog. Um, as the weather's cooled off and the fishing slowed down a bit here um, for winter, I thought I would uh, start doing these vlogs to supplement the channel, add a little bit to the um, fly tying and, and gear review videos. Um, so basically I'm going to do these just marking amusings or whatever um, maybe in future I might get some guests on I don't know we'll see how that goes um, so today we've got a website recommendation uh, a book recommendation and some other little odds and ends and um, the first thing is I suppose um, one of the regular viewers of my fly tying videos Charles um, he often comments on the fly tying videos and actually lives in Japan as well so we were able to hook up and we took him out for uh, his first ever blue water trip. Um, went out looking for Mahi Mahi in Tokyo Bay. Um, and I think we've converted him solidly into his hot water fly fishing, which is nice. Um, but he suggested uh, adding some like leader and rigging videos into the channel, which in future I'll, I'll be doing. So if, you, if you're interested in that, keep your eyes, eyes peeled. Um, the second thing is um, website review, website recommendation, um, and it's the Saltwater Fly Fishing Forum Australia. Um, I'll put a link in the description below, and you can go over there. Um, and that kind of will also be where you'll find information for the next thing, which is this um, Christmas Island. Uh, world fly fishing team support campaign that's been run by one of the members of that forum. Um, the user uh, on the forum's Dynaflow, uh, that's his handle, um, and he's trying to raise funds or raise support for the uh, team from Kiribati's uh, Christmas Island to go to next year's World Championships. Um, and he's actually at the moment. He's selling these. I don't know how well you can see that. It says these are these are maps of Christmas Island and the Bonefish Flats. They were done by uh, I believe Moana, the who used to be one of the kind of main guides there um, before he sadly passed away. Um, he's selling them to raise funds and also they're looking for anything like people willing to tie flies, etc. If you are um, in a position to be able to support that. That would be superb, um, but the best way to contact them is to follow the link, which will be in the description below. And then, as I said, the username is Dynaflow. Um, if you've got any questions about that, you can hit me up with a message or um, contact him through that forum. The next thing I wanted to talk about today is um, this book that I just picked up. Um, I'm going to start. Uh, building a box of uh, traditional wet flies um, in case I ever do trips back home. Um, I love fishing wets like traditional loch style and I really like tying the flies as well so I was sort of looking around I've been stocking up in materials and things I need to get a new lens for the camera to um, film them as tutorials a bit better but I was mooching about on Amazon and uh, I found this book, it's called At the End of the Line, it's by George Barron and it's fantastic. Um, I'll just, the, the insert leaf on the cover, um, I mean it's written by Mark Bowler who edits fly fishing and fly tying and it's, I mean it sums it up perfectly. Uh, the first line, the traditionally styled wet fly is the most beautiful craft actively involved in fly fishing today. And it's right, I mean it is, um, it's, I mean people tie classic salmon flies and that but you don't fish them. These are like really real fishing flies that really test your fly tying skill um, and develop your fly tying skill, they really tighten it up if you're, if you're paying attention to doing it well. Um, really good book. Um, 
you know, it was a bit nostalgic for me looking through it and there's pictures of like, the Lake of Teeth and other places that have fished over the years, there's Finnhead, um, places where I've competed and fished for just for more than pleasure. Um, really nice, full of excellent, an excellent list of patterns just for people who are looking for patterns. Some nice little anecdotes um, related to the specific flies. Um, and it's also like George Barron's sort of approach to writing this, it's this sort of philosophy on how to tie wet flies and the materials you're, he's looking for. Um, I mean, I agree with a lot of it. There are things that he does a bit differently from me in his wet flies, but there's nothing that I would disagree with. It's, it's a really good book. Classic Loch style wet flies. Um, with some of them with a bit more modern twists and things. Thoroughly recommend this book to anybody who's interested in, in tying these kind of flies. Whether you fish them or not, they're a really good way to improve your fly tying. But um, I'll be doing some videos of the flies in this book as well. Um, and the last thing is, um, some of you have uh, may have noticed that I've been mentioning a Patreon account on the tight fly tying videos. Um, what I'm going to do is basically, if I can get fifty, at least fifty patrons, I'm going to start just doing giveaways. So once we hit fifty, um, fifty patrons, I'll be just randomly selecting one of them and uh, every month or whatever or other month and I'll be I'll send you a box a small box of flies to anyone in the world free postage um, but as I say that's contingent on getting at least 50 um, people signed up to that uh, it'll just help me cover the costs of the channel um, make it you know worth the time well, and the money that I spend on the, f the materials, especially when people are requesting flies that I'm never going to fish. So, um, I hope that was useful. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, I hope I've, I can get some more of these done in the future, and I hope they're interesting to you. Uh, yeah, tight lines, guys. Merry Christmas. Bye.